What's going on guys? In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about Legends of the Universe. Legends of the Universe is a game that my brother and I are making and it looks dope. Here's a little sneak peek of what we're talking about and what we're trying to incorporate in our game. But well, wait, don't get too excited. Okay, it's only okay, been okay. One day I've been working on this multiplayer thing. Okay, okay, okay. So ignore the interface, all right? Um, it's just a placeholder. I'm gonna have a beautiful 3D background with like rotating island, you know, cool yeah. stuff like that. To have the character on the side, you know. So just ignore the UI for now. But okay. I added uh, two buttons. Well, more than two, but two of these work. So if you want to play the game, you click single player and kind of like Minecraft, it'll ask you to select one or create one. So I don't know, I'll call this one, uh, Rootscape. I don't know, World of <laughs> Warcraft. So you create it yeah, and then, you, and then you click on play selected, right? So when you, oh, click you on put play the selected, swimming animation in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. So now you see you can uh, I'm swimming in water but there's no uh there's no particles or anything yet. I just programmed it in, you know, quickly. Yeah, yeah. So now I want to have another person log in. So I'm going to click on multiplayer. And then it's going to give me a list of all the worlds that are currently hosting, right? Right. So I so I click on on join. So now you see the the other players there. And what's cool about this is that if I if I start drawing, the other guy also gets, you know, live building. Holy it's crap! Live. Right? So and you, you live. You put like some animations in there. Yeah, yeah I made him uh, swing his uh, swing his sword, or or whatever. So wow! You see, so now you can you guys can bolt uh build at the same time right you see, you see a place in grass so you see the guy sees what he's doing he's like oh shit oh okay let's add some uh let's add some of this stuff so obviously the other guy's not here on this screen i'm still working on the multiplayer but yeah, you see yeah, that yeah. it is it is working you know i'm the building uh is happening so the big brush size is a little bit a little bit laggy but I don't think maybe I'll reduce it to nine or something like that but yeah okay we'll see we'll see you we'll could see, see uh, you, you could build at the exact same time and and you can have uh, let's say I build this thing so now you both get it you know wow. at the same time uh, yeah that's it live Live building. Nice. So, I was thinking about how we're gonna make this uh, work. Yeah. I mean, the, the point of the game is is what is to we need, we need to. Joy, I've been thinking a lot about it, and I'm th and th think about this, okay? Th for this, you know how many different mini games we could create with this game let me give you an example on what i'm talking about let's okay. say you start off in the middle of the ocean like you did before yeah or let's say on an island whatever and there's a a crystal in the oh. middle and there's a timer at the top that says the enemies are are coming in like 15 minutes so now you gotta you gotta build, you gotta make a fort, you gotta get the tree, get the log, build shit, and then 15 minutes later, then the army comes and then you start killing and defending and you gotta defend, you know? Yeah, uh, so like waves. So, yeah, so we could do like waves, so by the time you're done like 50 waves, the place will be massive, you know? Like, you'll have uh, thick walls, you know, you'll... Okay, think... now, for people to have access to all the items, we give them access to everything, or to unlock the items, you have to play through my world. Uh, I think wherever you get it, that's what you're going to have. So if you go in your world... Like, if you want to unlock the, the big red guy, you have to catch him somewhere. Yeah. 
But if we give the power to the players to give to to let them catch it, then they can just like get kind of cheat, you know. <laughs> Ignore that ninety degree. Uh... <laughs> ninety degree placement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. I think uh, we could store the the account information. I don't I don't care, but I see a lot of potential for for like uh, suspense type game as well you know like yeah we could have we could have story mode you know like we had before with the quest and you follow the quest you build blah, 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 blah. but because this game is WASD based now I see we can really can really have a blast with with like a, a bunch of enemies coming in you're like oh crap I gotta build stuff I gotta make this I gotta cut this tree you know I gotta yeah, 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 yeah. make a fence the other guy is on the other side working, you know. I see a lot of mini game oh, potential. Build a fort, build, bring, make towers that shoot up bad guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I see, uh, and I see like a bunch of pirate ships coming down this way, and they're they're firing at the base, and you're like, you gotta, you know, you. So we give health to buildings. We could. I I think so. Yeah, I think so. Those those things aren't animated. No, no, no. But I, I gotta animate them. You can. Yeah, of course, of course I can. I could make these come to life and shoot. Like turn and shoot. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. So I think there will be. If you want to play, add in story mode. Story mode is the original game. The original game where you do my story, and. You can only unlock certain items in story mode. How's that? Yeah, there you go. So you 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 can only build what you unlocked during the game. You start off with a uh, with standard items. Yeah, uh, uh, someone's at the door. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You got a song that I might like? This is the game that we're working on, guys. We're working on multiplayer. We're working on. It's gonna be available on iPhone, iOS. It is exciting. All right, I'm back. All right, so yeah, story mode's gonna gonna unlock you special items that you'd only get yeah, in story armor. mode. Even building stuff. You know, oh yeah, buildings. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you want to unlock Dang. stuff, yeah. So levels. You gotta do a story. Yeah. So I don't think we should put levels. You think it should just be uh You can craft it if you have the stuff. But if you want to use like magic powers oh, then the phone's ring. Hold on. Okay. Right. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be GC3 this year. GC3. You guys don't know, I'm a Rocket League player content creator slash game creator this is the game right here slash musician slash cook slash hopefully workout videos soon gotta work out slash electrician so maybe do some videos like guys i'm going for this role model youtuber thing where if you want to learn how to do stuff I can teach you how to do stuff. All right. All right. So yeah, in the story mode, you'll be able to unlock certain things. Yeah. And then you can build them in your world. But if you go and you go to someone else's world, it won't do anything. You can't build it. Uh, won't do anything. What do you mean by won't? Like if if you go in my world and you unlock the archer building. Oh, it's, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you can build it in your world, but you can't unlock it in any other worlds. Oh, uh, just in the main world. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, because then you can't uh, cheat. Yeah, because then people can cheat. You know what I see also with this? I what? see... I see capture the flag, two bases. I see... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. MVP, I see arena mode. I see uh, waves. I see, like, oh, the, the, this endless, endless amount of minigames. Yeah. 
I think we got ourselves uh, a reason for people to come back on a game and and it, you know even if we could only handle 20 to 100 people in one server that's that's fine you know because 10 10 versus 10 capture the flag is very exactly. exciting exactly exactly it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of fun i think uh, for minimum viable product again it's just build kill expand build kill expand build kill expand level up smith yeah, just yeah, the yeah. simple stuff get that out of the way put it out you know what i'm thinking about doing though what i'm thinking about making the game available uh for download and everything with a uh, uh, ten dollar one initial purchase for the beta release and every time i work on it i'm just gonna keep updating it so if people bought it at the beta release they'll get it for 10 bucks yeah so what but we can basically what i'm saying is we could start making money uh now with this because people are going to want to start building and we don't need to host a server because the server is based on LAN right now. Yeah. And if they want to put it worldwide, they can download Hamashi, you know, run that, and then there you go. It's worldwide. They could run their server anyway. Yeah, it's exactly yeah. the same as, as Minecraft. Okay. They sold, they sold for billions of dollars, right? How? Yeah. How how do they they sell a multiplayer game without hosting a server? This is how they did it. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. It sounds good. I know you. I know it's hard to see, but but the evidence is 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 Minecraft. How much is Minecraft? Uh, I think now it's like thirty six dollars. But when I initially bought it, it was like twenty fifteen twenty dollars the first release. Beta version. Beta, yeah. Well, we gotta launch a free to play just to get people playing. Unfortunately. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on to someone at the door again. Ugh! We gotta launch a free to play version so that we gotta get people playing the game, and then the first like twenty people, it'll be free, and then the after twenty people, check the song H two K Shipwreck. Yeah, Veil. I'll check it out, man. I think we could make money right now, Joey. I don't think we should make it free. The first 20 people get it free? They, people are, first of all, the game's going to be easily hackable. I'm sure people are going to be able to get it for free. Uh, secondly, this game already has value. Multiplayer building live, which doesn't exist. And if they and if you look at the first version of, of Minecraft, it wasn't even multiplayer. It was just one guy in a 256 by 256 square world with like five trees, and that's it. Yeah. And he still sold it. And what he did was he kept updating and updating and updating. If we put the auto updater on the game, then even the people who downloaded the game uh, a long time ago will have the latest updates. Yeah, we need to do that. They're already they already have the content. They already purchased it. And then when the the game is more mature, then we raise the price to to twenty dollars, then thirty, then thirty five. XFN Fire says, I think it should be free for the first 10 days. Yeah, we can put a 10 day trial, uh, like a kill switch. I can put a kill switch in there. 10 day? Okay, okay. Man, it's got, it looks good. It looks aesthetically yeah. pleasing. And that's why I think we could make money right away. Because people want these graphics. They want to build. Yeah, they want these graphics. I looked at other uh, mobile games, and this is a step up. Yeah, this doesn't look like any other game. This this looks good. 
No, I looked at other RPG MMO, but they're not sandbox MMO RPG creative mode no, no, no. with all that stuff. They're not. They're not there. This is. So I'm going to set up the website. I'm going to put the login. I'm going to put the auto installer. And I'm going to make the purchasing live. That's that's it. I'm just going to do it. Do it. So if, if, if people want it, you got to pay for it. I mean, I got 10 people watching right now, and I'm pretty sure we're all going to play it. <laughs> so... And that's just live. If I start posting it on my YouTube, it's gonna be quick advertisement. Free advertisement. Yeah, I think it'll be a weekly weekly update, even daily. I think now it's gonna be daily updates. Well, it's gonna be whenever you're updating updates. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, so uh, there's gonna be story mode where you yeah. can unlock certain items. Yeah. Or you can play by yourself, make your own world. Yeah. Let's say invite up to 20 people. You have already a baseline of items. Yeah. Now your character, your character himself, does he have levels, yes or no? I hmm. I think he should. Because that will give people a mean of, uh, what, what's that called there? Return, it's called a return. Uh, yeah, I know, I know what it is. Value return value or something like that but you're saying it's hackable so someone could give himself level 99 yeah which is why i think you can still put the leveling in there but there's going to be no high score until we secure it i don't think this will be a game that will ever secure it unless Unless we put like a 3D physics engine on the cloud, which which is crazy, because all the computation, the character position, the speed, is all calculated on the client side, which means they could easily hack it. They could give them anything they want. They could teleport. They ah, can I get it. Fly around. They can. So and can they, they hack my story? Oh, they can. They could. They could. Uh, yeah, they could take your story and remake it, edit it by hacking it. You know, like it's just a file. I don't think the file is very complicated to understand. Because because hackers kill games. You know that. Hackers yeah. killed Fall Guys. <laughs> yeah, well, Fall Guys is a perfect example. All those jumping collisions and all that stuff is all calculated on the client side yeah and in world of warcraft it's the same thing but what they do is they they have these uh these algorithms that constantly check the player's position if he's off the ground you're banned stuff like that you know we can start incorporating those slowly yeah we could we could that's what RuneScape did. Yeah, RuneScape has everything on the server side, but they don't have any collision. Uh, they don't have physics-based uh, engine. They, then it's all pathfinding. Path which can be calculated on the server easily. Doesn't. Well, that's what that's how it was before. So now we're we're doing a switch. Now we're WASD-based. We got physics collisions. Bounding boxes, the game, sliding, jumping, gravity. The game is going to be available on PC and Android and iPhone and tablet. iOS, tablets. Is it going Mac. to be free? We're discussing that right now. We're discussing yeah. whether it's going to be free for maybe five days. Maybe five days free. We'll announce it. You'll have the first five days and then we'll initiate the the um, the uh, the charge. Ten, ten bucks. Child. Yeah, exactly. Ten box is gonna be for the beta, just to have fun, play around, and you're gonna get daily updates. The game's gonna get better and better, and it's so a one purchase, one time only. I'm thinking of launching a Kickstarter campaign because now the game is really aesthetically pleasing, so I can really launch a Kickstarter campaign that can generate a crap ton of money. I think. Uh. 
And what, and what will we use that, that money for exactly? Our, uh, artists, programmers, uh, advertising, Wait. website, like what, all of the above. If I could get 200K, let's say, let's say I get 10K advertisement, 20K advertisement. Mm -hmm. So then all an advertisement. Probably. Money. What do we need? We don't need anything else. No, we, we don't, we don't need graphics. We don't need. We don't need sound effects, we can buy all that. We don't need a programmer, I'm the programmer. We don't need all... anything. We don't need anything except advertising. That's it. We need advertisement, so I, all the money I can get, advertisement. Advertisement, yeah. I'll yeah. make an ad for it. Maybe I can pay someone to make an ad because my ad's gonna be... Yeah, video. you could, yeah, make a make a video for that. I will, I will, as soon Hire as you... Someone, uh... Well, my editing's getting pretty dope. As soon as I get a, a nice MVP, then I'll uh, I'll make a video. I'll advertise it. It's gonna be in all my YouTube videos. Every single video I put out from whenever you're ready, it's advertised. And Corey, some videos get two hundred thousand views. Oh, really? You got two hundred thousand views on a couple? I have in the past twenty eight days six hundred thousand views total in all my videos that I made in the last twenty eight days. Cow. I have I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers Man, what I know I'm getting what? What? I'm getting 150 Wait, subscribers by the day. I have 2310 subscribers right now Enchantments is there magic? Uh, yeah, there's stats oh, the Heck yeah, there's gonna be heck yeah, there's gonna be magic. There's gonna be magic. Oh, yeah An archery magic We're gonna add in a blunderbuss Eventually, there's no blunderbuss animation right now, but is there a crossbow? No, no, there's no crossbow. No, there's no crossbow. Archery. So right now it's basically sword, two-handed sword, axe, uh, magic, archery. That's it. That's it. There's no fishing far yet, but we'll no, see. Yeah, just gonna be wood cutting and mining and smithing. Yeah. Stick uh, yeah. with that. Underwater items? No, we're not gonna go underwater, guys. Maybe in the future, right now. No, just just above land. All right, all right, I'm excited. All Corey, right. did you see that I make a video out of this? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe you you snuck that in there, eh? Oh yeah, this one too. Yeah, yeah, you snuck it in there. Are you gonna have to censor out my swears? Uh, did you swear? No, I don't think you Why? swore. Is that the S, is S word? Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, alright, peace out, Aiden. Alright, Corey. That's good, that's good, all that's right. good. I'm excited. Alright. Keep in all touch. Right, okay, bye. Yep. Bye. Alright, that is the latest update to Legends of the Universe. So excited for this.